Hey guys, it's Anna and I have a refresh of an old video to show you how we're accessing Google Drive um, or G Suite now that we have the county accounts. So the first thing I want you to do is go to google.com, look up in the upper right hand corner and see what you see. You might see a blue sign in button, you might see a circle with your picture in it, you might see a circle with a letter in it, whatever the case. Um, Click on that and see what it shows you. Now, if you see the sign-in button, it may be that it you click that and it signs you in, um, and then you see your face or one of those other things. So just see what it does. Um, and look to see if it gives you a list of accounts you're signed into or that you have access to. So when I click on mine, I can see right here I've got my personal account here. And this is my NorthbrookCenter.com account. And you remember we talked about that one needs to go away. We need to sign out of it and completely remove it from Chrome like forever. So um, the first thing I want you to do is click sign out. And it's going to log you out of those accounts. And then you should see a sign in there. I'm going to click on sign in and see what it gives me. Now it shows it shows me both of those same accounts again, but now it shows that I'm signed out of both of them. And on this screen, I have an option I didn't have before, which is remove an account. So you want to click on remove an account. And you may not see the screen. If you weren't signed into anything before, you won't see this. And you'll just skip to the next part where we sign into our new account. Um, so I'm going to click on remove an account and click the X next to my NorthbrookCenter.com account. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to remove it? Yes, I am. And now I'm left with just my personal account. You can go ahead and sign into that if you've got a personal account saved. Um, can't do two things at once. Um, you may want to go ahead and sign into your personal account first because whichever account you sign into first becomes your primary account. And there are reasons that it can be kind of annoying to have your Google account be the primary one, um, which I'll show you in a minute. So I am now signed in. If I click on my face, I am only signed into my personal account. It's fine. I can leave it just like that. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to go to the employee portal, and I've got a bookmark here of that. And it's going to ask me to sign in. So go ahead and sign into your portal. And now I'm going to go to Tools. Now I have more tools than you do, but somewhere in your Tools menu, you have something that says G Suite for Education. So you're going to click on that. It's going to pop open a new window, and it's going to send you to Google Drive. Um, the first time you do this, it's going to ask to verify, is this the right account? And it is, um, should be this first part, my Anna underscore colleague will be whatever your Lotus Notes email name is. And then the last part will look like this, g.gcpsk12.org. Um, click continue. And then it's going to pop open your Google Drive. And I can see I'm in my GCPS one now because it has the Torch logo up here. If I click that, you'll see... I'm still logged in, still logged in to my personal account as well, and it does say my personal account is the default. Um, the reason you may want to have your personal account as the default is that when you try to go to Google Drive, let's say I shut down my computer and then start it back up, or go home for the night and come back in the morning. When I try to go to Google Drive, it's going, if, if GCPS is your default, it's going to try to go there first and it's going to force you to log into the portal before it lets you in. So if you're trying to get to your personal one, I don't know how much you use your personal account, you're going to be forced to go log into the portal first and then switch accounts if that one is your default. So just that's the reason you may want to do that. So. Um, that's what you need to do, and I'm in Chrome right now. You need to do this in every browser that you use. So some people were having an issue where they went through all the steps in Chrome, and then they would click, click a link, and the link would open in Internet Explorer, and they say, but I already did all the steps. But Internet Explorer is a completely different browser. It has its own thing going on. So you have to do those same steps I just showed you in all the browsers you use, whether it's Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, or Chrome. Um, make sure you do that on all of them. So hope this helps you to get into your new account.